right. So I'm Captain Ray and I'm with the City of Bellingham Fire Department and one of the uh, 12 members and one of the four fire captains assigned to uh, operate the marine vessel Sailor Star, so Bellingham's new fire boat. Um, the main crews are based out of Fire Station 5, which is at Northwest Avenue, and then we would come down here and operate the vessel in the uh, marine environment. So this boat uh, is, is so much different from the old fire boat with the advance in electronics that are on board. So number one, it allows us uh, a lot better capability in both radar and uh, chart plotting and integration. Uh, we have a forward-looking infrared camera, uh, allows us to do um, searches on the water and, uh, and to see through smoke um, with that. And just the electronic package lighting alone is, uh, is a very in, uh, monumental increase from the last vessel. Uh, the last vessel was uh, capable of pumping about a thousand gallons a minute. We're capable of pumping uh, over three thousand gallons a minute. Um, of course, we can respond uh, in about 25 knots, which is um, more than twice as fast as the old vessel can respond as well. And, and just the, the modern uh, approach to the way things work on the vessel, it's just a much more user-friendly platform as well. Yeah. Uh, the, the pilot of the vessel can see and operate in, in a much more safer environment and, and safer for the crews and the people who are going to help them respond to. Uh, of course, it has rescue capabilities um, as far as pe people out of the water or old bull didn't have that capability. Uh, and it's just a larger platform uh, that can carry uh, more people if we need to do uh, an evacuation, for example. Like, uh, I think the Coast Guard helped with some evacuation of Portage Island uh, just over the 4th of July weekend. Um, and allows us to do that a little bit better as well. So it is currently not in service. So we are just getting our initial training on it, making sure we can operate safely. And until we have um, uh, most or all of the crew uh, trained up and, and able to be, to be used on, we have a, a regular program we go through for training. Uh, to get signed off, and until that happens, um, it won't be in service. And we're anticipating early fall, but we don't really have a projected date. We're just uh, working as hard as we can to get there.